It takes a lot of energy to power our daily lives and Western Australia's onshore gas resources have the potential to transform the state's energy industry. That opportunity is natural gas, locked deep in deposits across Western Australia. Abundant, cleaner burning, affordable, an Australian resource that could potentially invigorate our economy and help meet our energy needs for generations. Combining horizontal drilling with hydraulic fracturing has made the recovery of shale gas and tight gas resources possible. This advancement offers more gas production with fewer wells, substantially reducing our environmental footprint relative to traditional techniques. These proven methods target rocks deep underground with responsible well construction and operation, extracting natural gas is safe and effective. In Western Australia, all onshore gas operators practice safety every step of the way. After months of well planning and geological study of the subsurface, engineers select and construct a drill site based on topography. Next, a hole is drilled and a steel conductor casing is set to stabilize the ground at the top of the well. As drilling continues, a mixture typically of freshwater and native clay, called drilling mud, is circulated down the hole. This cools the drill bit, removes cuttings, maintains proper pressure and creates a boundary between the well and the rock formations. Drilling continues below the base of usable aquifers to a depth specified by regulators based on local geology. The drill pipe is then removed and more steel casing is inserted into the conductor casing. Cement is pumped into the casing, out the bottom and back up to the surface, creating a sealed, cement-reinforced container that extends from the surface to below underground sources of water. This surface casing also serves as the foundation for the blowout preventer, a key safety device. To ensure a sufficient seal, the casing is pressure tested. Then, drilling resumes down to the kickoff point, where a specialized drilling motor is attached allowing us to drill the curve and horizontal sections of the well. Typically, wells penetrate thousands of metres below usable groundwater at depths of approximately 3,000 to 4,000 metres, the equivalent of 16 of the Perth Central Park Tower buildings. Multiple layers of impermeable rock separate the target formation from freshwater aquifers, preventing upward migration of natural gas and fracturing fluids into groundwater zones. Once the target is reached, the drilling assembly is removed and additional steel casing is inserted. More cement is pumped into the casing, out the bottom and back up to a depth specified by regulators. This creates another cement reinforced container for the collection and flow of gas. With a perforating tool, holes are made in the casing and into the shale at the desired locations. The hydraulic fracturing process, safely used around the world for more than 60 years in over a million wells, now begins. A fluid consisting of water, sand and a small amount of chemicals is pressurised and injected into the well where it exits the holes made in the casing, penetrates the shale and fractures the rock. Many of the chemicals used in the hydraulic fracturing process are found in common household items and even food products. Sand or ceramic particles called propant are carried by the fluid and deposited in the narrow fractures created in the rock, propping open these gaps so gas can flow out of the rock and into the well. To isolate the fracture zones, a plug is set inside the casing behind the perforated section and the process is repeated multiple times. Finally, the plugs are drilled out, allowing the gas and other fluids to flow into the well bore where they can flow to the surface. The entire drilling and completion process generally takes only two to three months compared to the 20 to 30 year productive life of a typical well. Following a discovery, the gas is separated from other fluids at the surface. Any produced water is diverted into lined evaporation ponds or above ground storage tanks. With horizontal drilling, multiple wells can be drilled from the same drill pad site, optimizing production while minimizing the number of wells, roads and other infrastructure necessary to recover this valuable resource. All operations are executed to meet or exceed regulatory requirements and protect the environment, our local communities, landholders and traditional owners of the land. WA onshore gas operators are committed to doing the right things and have developed a code of practice with guidelines on responsible exploration, environmental management and community consultation.